Hey there, Scorpio. Welcome to your June 2023 general monthly reading for Scorpio Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. Thank you guys so much for being here. I appreciate each and every one of you so, so much. To all my wonderful subscribers and returning viewers, thank you guys for everything. For keeping this channel going with your love, with your support, your thumbs up, your comments, all of the above. If you are new to me, welcome. I do read intuitively, so don't just go based off what you see here on the table. There will be lots of messages throughout. Your nine card spread for your monthly energies is beginning, middle, and ending of the month. I will also pull some um, energy oracle to see what other energies we're going to tap into this month. Make sure you check out your moon rising and Venus uh, sign videos as well. Your playlist is up here where you can catch all the Scorpio readings. Uh, Pisces also got the anxiety card here. Oh, the cards are just talking to you. Seven Chakra Archangel Uriel. If you are interested in booking a personal reading, thank you to all of those who have already. I appreciate you. Um, the link is in the description box down below. I will be changing up my calendar, my offerings, and schedule. So if you want to get in now before I change the prices as well, now is the time to book a reading. So let's get to it. Your overall energy that you can expect or maybe not want to expect in the month of June. Anxiety. Oh, also, sorry, ADD here. Um, weeklies are back. So after you see this, start catching the weekly. So make sure you give it a thumbs up, like, share, comment, and subscribe. So you have the card of anxiety, seventh chakra, Archangel Uriel, and the healer of the ages. Some of you may be uh, seeking some spiritual advice, uh, seeking spiritual wisdom from someone who is very, very in tune with their crown chakra, with their third eye, who's very intuitive, who has has very strong psychic gifts. You may be seeing someone uh, to help support you in ways where you're having trouble understanding the downloads, the messages. I'm even seeing that some of your dreams have almost turned into nightmares that it's like really freaking you out for some of you. And so it can, you know, manifest into anxiety. And so I do feel like for some of you, you could be seeking the help of a spiritual healer, advisor, counselor, therapist you may be going the holistic route if you know functional medicine or homeopathic route if you are trying to find ways of uh, re-examining your health and your health goals and with that in mind it's also in regards to not just physical health but also mental health and emotional, mental and emotional well-being, right? Because it does affect you on so many different levels where the anxiety can have like such a tight grip on you that it feels like you're even having like imposter syndrome. You're wondering if, if you know what you're doing, if you know what you're talking about. I feel like there's this very strong energy of self-doubt that's got you spiraling, but also keeping you and your life and your progress on hold, whatever that may be for you. For some of you, it could be in business in you know, starting a business, changing careers, uh, growing from, you know, your career or business. It could also be in regards to your finances, you know, if you feel like your energy is off and your money is also off, it, the, it's no coincidence. The two coincide. It's one and the same. When you really start to do the healing work, the clearing work, you know, the shadow work, as some people really need to dig in deep into the shadows of within themselves, of what feels like is a burden around them, shadowing them. I do get this feeling, Scorpio, and I always have this energy for you, is that you guys tend to be very intuitive, right? You tend to be very sharp and um, observant as well. So I do feel like there are conclusions that you easily come to. And so by being in that practice of trusting your intuition, trusting your mind's eye, trusting the inner knowings and, you know, the natural conclusions that you've been coming up with, it's 
it's not just, you know, your brain saying, I know what the next logical step is or the next logical outcome, but rather you are being guided by, you know, supernatural forces, by spirit guides, guardian angels, by, you know, your higher self that's guiding you down a, a specific path. Um, it, and I feel like sometimes I just, I'm seeing someone have like really bad, like night terrors here. Okay. I'm seeing it very vividly, like someone almost like jumping out of bed, sweating, okay? And um, there's a lot of heavy, dark energy. Uh, some of you really need to have like a house blessing or clearing. Um, it, it feels like there is something that that's dark and heavy, like a dark and heavy energy looming around you. And it's not all of you, so please, if you're not experiencing that, don't get paranoid and think, oh my God, I am cursed or I have this. You're not, okay? Um, but, but it does feel it does feel like there are certain things that feel like you don't want them manifested and yet somehow you feel like they're knocking on your door, right? So seventh chakra Archangel Uriel, really connect with this Archangel to tap into your crown chakra, to have clear and resonant messages from beyond, from higher self. Some of you I'm hearing are not ready for that. The thought of that like scares the shit out of you, right? Or you're just like, no, I'm not trying to open up any doors because I feel like you've already had some pretty, pretty wild wild experiences, right? So I do feel like some of you can definitely benefit from a healer, uh, you know, someone who can clear you energetically, uh, release you of, of certain karmic energy baggage that you've been carrying around that just now feels like a very heavy shadow. I'm feeling like even some of you are experiencing sleep paralysis, okay? So it's very, very important that if you ever do experience sleep paralysis, night terrors, things like that, or you just feel like there's an energy in your room or an energy watching you because I do feel, I'm sorry, Scorpio, for whoever is going through this, but I, I do get this feeling that someone is experiencing that at this time. Cancel, clear, delete. That energy is not welcome here and you need to be very, very strong. Energies like that feed off of fear. Cancel, clear, delete. You are you have no power over me. Uh, you're you know you don't resonate with me. You're not welcome here. Get the fuck out, basically. And yes, just like that, whether you cuss or not, you get them the hell out of your house, your room, your energy. They are not welcome. Make sure they know it loud and clear. And don't be afraid to shout it to the rooftops, okay? Um, but definitely, if you have somebody that can, that is like, um, if you, if you, if you can ask around, if you know of people that maybe are med, you know, psychic mediums that can help you. I know this is getting like really. <laughs> really intense for some of you that are not experiencing this but if you find a you know psychic medium that you trust that can come in really pick up on those energies and you know close out some chapters some energies around there that feel like they're looming over you healer of the ages i do feel like with this energy here there this is this very powerful healer that you're going to come in contact with okay so i do feel like this is going to be a really really big deal for you like it's really balancing the scales of karma it's really setting things straight and putting you on the right path and this will happen if you are in a tough spot and you know that you need a clearing you know that you need some sort of healing or you know needing to do shadow work if you're going through you know dark night of the soul and you feel like it's like a never-ending cycle of you know gloom and doom for you uh, definitely seek out I would recommend obviously I'm not a doctor but seek out therapy doctors counseling um you know also healers that can help heal you and the energy around in your home. I do see that there that you can benefit from like an energy clearing for some of you. But I also feel that this is going to help you to transmute the energy that just feels like it's literally draining out of you. I'm seeing someone almost go pale like you are literally being energetically drained Scorpio what is going on I'm so sorry that you're going through this um you know it just it feels awful it feels like 
Uh, some of you feel may be feeling like your whole world has been turned upside down. You feel like you're not yourself and um, you're um, even at the point of questioning whether or not you're, you know, you're seeing things, you're crazy. Um, uh, if you can even, you know, if, if your intuition is just wild at the moment, you know, I know this is going off on a tangent, but some of you really need to get some um, healing or spiritual help, spiritual work done, okay? Uh, do the spiritual baths, do the clearing of the households, um, you know, do some protection work around your house uh, and around yourself. Um, and so let's get to it with the rest of your reading here. The beginning of the month, you have the Hanged Man, Knight of Pentacles, and Seven of Pentacles. It feels that your efforts have uh, are, are like coming through like very slowly here. You've done the work. You're trying to figure out and like reassess, am I doing something wrong? Am I missing a few steps? I feel like if you entered a new chapter in your life, in your career, in your business, um, it, it just, you know, it just feels as though you're looking back and saying, where did I go wrong? I should have already seen profits. I should have at least broken even. I should have at least been more advanced in my career, in my finances, in my personal growth, in my business, whatever it may be. Now, I'm not saying that the money is not coming your way because clearly I do feel like there is money coming your way. Um, however, you know, you do have two sevens and two sixes. I just realized that right now. Um, oh, and another six here. Um, so, you know, those numbers may be synchronistic to you. Um, you know, it, it is about, you know, things changing and moving forward. Um, it's having that initial action fuel, fueling your actions, you know, um, where eights would be more significant of, you know, the, the progress of the action you've taken. This is more so like the beginning of that, the action that is being taken. Okay. And so the hanged man is really, you know, this feeling of taking a slight pause and, you know, trying to pinpoint the time that went wrong, the time where you could have maybe shoulda, coulda, woulda done something differently to have a different outcome. Uh, you are going to have a much more stable, you know, financial environment and just overall stability in your household, in your business, in your income, your finances. However, I get this really, really strong feeling, okay? No, no judgment, Scorpio. I'm just... I didn't want to bring it up, but it's coming in very strong. If you were involved in something that was not very honest or ethical in regards to money, career, finances, right? Maybe borrowing money and never paying back. Maybe, maybe taking money, taking sales, whatever it may be that were not yours to begin with. Um, if you've had legal trouble surrounding money I feel like some of you are looking at it as this is my karma type energy right like some of you are really saying that out loud well, of course things aren't working out because you know of all the, the the things that I didn't do right way back when right no that's not it if you know what you did was not right way back when and you've learned from it so you haven't repeated that cycle and so, therefore, you've learned that lesson that wouldn't be the energy that holds you back, but rather you in your head about what you've done in the past and not, you know, giving yourself grace, not forgiving yourself, not moving forward from the old version of you that would have behaved that way, if that makes sense, okay? And so, you know, I do feel like with the Seven of Swords, Six of um, six of pentacles and six of swords. It's like, I'd love to get my shit together, my financial shit in order and just leave, just take off, just start over, just finding a peace, just be an island of one. And, you know, for some of you, if you're dealing with like big family issues or, you know, big circle of friends, like where you feel like too many people are in your business, I do feel, especially if there's been money exchanged here, like maybe, you you know, someone is always fitting the bill and then someone's never paying back or someone's always like, oh, can you spot me or can I borrow some money? I'm in a, 
I'm in a jam, I'm in a pinch or, you know, financial, financially, I, you know, I don't have the money, but I'll get you on my next check. And then your next check comes and goes and they see no compensation. I feel like it's, it's built a bit of animosity and, and now you're just worried, right? Now you're just worried it's going to trickle and affect the rest of your friends, your family, whatever it may be. So I get the feeling like some of you may want to just get up and walk away, leave a situation behind. There is a part of you that is just at the point of how do I make this right without not effing myself over, basically, right? Um, you know, that Seven of Swords really worries me, though, because I feel like for some of you, either really like harm has been done to you or maybe you made some not so good decisions that may have caused harm in others, right? Uh, three of cups, you know, so it could be like a third party situation here. This could be, you know, um, a cheating on a partner using their money to um, fulfill your needs elsewhere, um, whether that's business or love, right? It just feels like there is some sort of um, irresponsibility in lack of accountability here and it's like fine you want your money back let me give you just this right so you could have been in that situation where someone just finally says oh fine you know i can't give you all of it but i'll give you this but like they totally throw it in your face like how dare you ask for your money back right <laughs> like as if you're being greedy for of pentacles and yet then they try to butter you up and try to make it seem like can we just like work this out? You know, it's, it's a really weird energy um, because it's not normal per se. I mean, if it is normal, that sucks, but it shouldn't be because that behavior is awful. And so uh, I do get this feeling of you just wanting to like move away, walk away, start all over again. But it just feels like it's a never ending cycle, a never ending nightmare of I don't know if I can ever escape this karma. I don't know if I could ever escape, you know, these people that are constantly for some of you, it's actually creditors like, you know, maybe you're in debt and, you know, you you're thinking of filing bankruptcy, but maybe you already have filed bankruptcy. Maybe you can't get a grip of all your finances and you're just like, can I just hold on? to the little bit that I have um, but in that moment you're not spending or saving wisely because I do feel like um, you know as with everybody that works hard you want to splurge you want to spoil yourself you want to do something to to break the stressful environments and the stressful moments of life right but you may overdo it at times so just be careful with your spending okay Scorpio you have the temperance card so slowly but surely you will be moving towards better environments better outcomes happiness overall I do get this feeling with the temperance card that you know once you've got a handle of your emotions it becomes a whole lot easier to move forward and be much more optimistic about what the future has in store for you right so the end of the month here you have the justice card the ace of cups and the queen of swords now you've got scales here and you've got scales here. So being grounded and balanced is very, very important. It affects all areas of your life, of your healing, your mental, emotional well-being, but also your relationships, especially if you're with someone who you tend to argue with a lot, okay, or who tends to have poor choice of words right very accusational it's like I love you but you know and and, and just I, I'm not liking this energy but I do feel like there's a lot of love here for you however I feel like your love languages can be different and so there is this need to make things right between the two of you and find a happy medium you know um, what makes you happy what makes you feel whole seen content complete and vice versa you got to be willing to do the same for them now tell me about this justice card so two of swords um you know and so two scales two of swords and another two okay so clearly partnership has a lot to do with this two people two outcomes feeling like you can't necessarily see things clearly but again the high priestess is very strong intuitive energy this is like your psychic 
queen here, right? Very intuitive. But the two of swords is blindfolded. So it's almost as though I wish I can't, I, I feel like someone is saying, I really wish I didn't see everything that I see, right? So your gifts may be coming out, maybe expanding, and you may be fearful of it, right? Yeah, look, another card with blindfold, eight of swords. It's like you really don't want to see it, but be careful, Scorpio, because... It screams victimhood, victim mentality. Like, I can't because of X, Y, Z. Stop. That needs to stop. Don't make excuses. Take action, okay? What advice do you have for Scorpio to take action to get out of victimhood? And the five of pentacles in reverse. Not a single one of my cards is in reverse. So when it does fly out that way, it is a very, very strong point the universe, the spirit is trying to make across to you where the five of pentacles upright can be, you know, financial sacrifice and loss and feeling like, you know, feeling like you're not being supported or anything like that. The five of pentacles is, you know, almost making up that no one is here for you. Almost like you're saying, oh, nobody's there for me, but you're very much supported you do have people that support you that care about you and maybe you feel like you're not fully supported in certain areas of your life but it's it shouldn't be made like a blanket statement like nobody cares about me you know people care about you nobody loves me you know people love you nobody supports me nobody looks out for me you cannot say blanket generalization statements like that you know because it's clear you've got someone around here who loves you, who cares about you, who does, you know, consider your well-being and what's going on with you. So you need to stop playing into the victimhood, the victim mentality, because I do feel like that's part of what's holding you back. And I'm sorry if some of you get offended by that. I'm just reading the energy as I see it, especially with the anxiety card. And I feel like with some of you that know that this whole victimhood or victim blaming mentality needs to stop you know that the, that has to come to an end and it's almost as though you don't know how to handle it how to move forward you really got to pour into yourself with this ace of cups and give yourself the grace the compassion the unconditional love love yourself back be a little bit more logical and mindful moving forward it's really what's going to get like that even though it's not here the wheel of fortune you know the that wheel to move forward in your favor right and you got the justice card twice okay so clearly what i just said really struck a chord spirit is saying yes you want things to make to be made right you've got to pull yourself out of you know victimhood or woe is me or i can never get this and look the six of pentacles again the scales both cards by the way of scales for things to be balanced you know overall not e and i don't want to say balanced in your favor because that's tilting the scales right but for things to be balanced where you feel grounded whole complete seen abundant whatever it may be that you feel like you're not being it's not being made available to you that changes knight of wands and page of wands literally literally i just said that changes why because you have an offer coming in an offer an opportunity to make things right to clear everything once and for all to clear yourself of anxiety to clear yourself of negativity to clear everything around you look at this you've got okay quite a few flew out let me put this stack down here you have the teapot, deep friendship with someone of the same sex, owl, good advice from a wise person, door, opportunities are waiting for you, and feather, someone you know is undependable and insincere. An opportunity is coming in for you here that's about to help you get to a position in your life where 
you'll no longer have to pretend that you are not supported. It's it's evident to people. There are people that, and, and this isn't like bypassing your feelings whatsoever, but there are people that would love to be in the same position that you've been in or to have the same opportunities you've had, either in the past or present. The card of angels, spiritual guidance, protection from harm. I literally freaking told you in the beginning, you are not alone. You are being guided. The card of fair man, dealings or relationship with a man with blonde, gray, or white hair. This could be someone that you're working with, that you're partnered up with romantically or business. This could be you. This is, could be someone that you look up to, that there's some sort of involvement with someone here. Now, it doesn't have to be male. It This one does have male and female, so apply it to your situation. It can be female in your reading because this is a general reading, okay? So the card of heart, love, deep affection, and caring, and the card of mountain, major challenge to overcome. Okay, my Scorpio friends, you definitely have a few things that you need to overcome here. It's time to do the shadow work, the inner work. It's time to clear yourself energetically, yourself, your home, um, your whole life almost feels like it needs one big sweep of the broom to get rid of, you know, karmic energy, residual negative energy that's like lingering around you. I just see this very, very strongly. Okay, so be careful the doors that you open that you're not quite sure what you're getting entangled with or involved with. Okay, you don't know what kind of attachments or baggage that may come with that. Okay, and if it's already been done and happened, you're probably laughing and saying I'm <laughs> too late. And so, you know, you can fix this. You can seek the help, guidance of someone who can assist you in clearing yourself energetically, spiritually, your home. And, you know, doing the inner work also helps. The more you heal, the more you forgive, the better off you truly end up being because it really does open up brighter doors and opportunities for you. Okay, I get this feeling like you have another question that maybe I didn't answer. But I don't necessarily want to keep pulling cards because you're my last reading, Scorpio, and I really want to wrap it up. I'm tired. <laughs> Ask your question right now, Scorpio. You can pause if you'd like. I'm going to pull three cards. And so ask your question. One of these cards will be the answer, and I will read them individually, but I will also read them together. And so here we go. Spirit Guides, Guardian Angels of Scorpio, assist them with their question. The answer is yes, an emphatic yes. Wow. Oh, two cards. Okay. You got four cards. So if you were worried or stressed out about whether or not the financial changes you've made, the investments, the career changes, um, the business opportunities that you've had, if they're ever going to pay out, especially with the Seven of Pentacles. And because we have the Knight of Pentacles, that's like slowly but surely. So you may be more worried about the debt that you have that's outstanding and, and like still waiting on more money to come in. And so if your question was, is the money coming in? Yes. But whatever your question was, even if the other ones don't uh, resonate. It's an emphatic yes exclamation point. Okay. So it's a definite yes to your answer. Okay. Good or bad doesn't know. I don't know. Put some golden hearts down below. Let me know if that resonated with you. This will have the card of abundance. So if you're asking questions about whether or not the money, you know, your hard work is going to pay off, if you're going to see everything that you've poured into something, if it's going to pay off, it's a resounding yes. The abundance is coming. Remember, abundance isn't just financial. It's abundance in all areas of your life where you feel wholly fulfilled, okay? I do see opportunities coming your way. So those of you that are looking, you know, asking questions about opportunities in business or whatever it may be, there is a financial opportunity, most definitely that is coming your way, especially uh, a year from now. So the card of a year from now can be uh, from now, the date you're watching it, to within a year from today, whatever today is for you, depending on when you're watching this. So 
if it seems like too long of a time for, you know, your hard work to pay off, the positive note, let's not focus on the lack, okay? The positive note is that it is going to pay off. It may take a little bit. You know, that Knight of Pentacles is the slowest moving train here, okay? He's like slow, slow coach, okay? And so, Yes, you will have plenty of opportunities to bring in more money, abundance, business opportunities, collaborations. It may take a while, but as you grow, as you grow your business, it's 10, 10 on my clock right now. As you grow your business, as you grow on a personal level, as you heal, it really does help to open the doors to more opportunities for you. So I really hope that that helped clarify anything that I didn't, you know, uh, clarify in the reading. And I will see what's in store for your guys' weekly. Those are coming up next. And I can't wait to see what else we've got for you. Remember to book a personal reading down below. Give it a thumbs up, like, share, comment, and subscribe. Your playlist is here. And I will see you guys soon. Take care. Bye.